Hey folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. As you probably realized, I missed last Friday and there's a little bit of a good reason for that. Uh, unfortunately, as most everybody knows, we got, we got skirted by a major, major hurricane and uh, we had a significant amount of water come into our warehouse. Uh, we're looking, we were looking at about four feet of water I think the storm surged from mean low water to where our concrete dock was. It was looking like it was a total of about 10 feet. Um, I've been here for nine years and have never gotten water in the, in the, in the warehouse. Got close a couple times, but never got it in the warehouse, especially from a storm that was 110 miles away. Um, we were very fortunate our buddy rich jiggy he had water in his house so we had to gut his house uh i'm going to do a video about this later but i'm not i'm not going to talk about the devastation part i'm going to talk about how all of these people have gotten together in the communities all around florida up in the carolinas up in in georgia up in uh in in tennessee and it's amazing how many people have come together to help I've had so many friends that have been affected by the storm. We were affected by it, so we had to take care of what we had to take care of here. And thankfully, a lot of people came together for my friends, and they were able to get their stuff relatively cleaned up for right now. But most of them are waiting on insurance, and I think that's going to be a long wait, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's not. But again, you know, we. We, I can't say thank you enough, and I, I'm going to do a video about it and thank all those people that came to to help us. We got this place cleaned up in about an hour and a half, I think it was. It was really, really quick. Uh, smaller stuff that had to be cleaned up that I needed to, to do to go through, but overall, it was amazing the, the friends that came out, and, and I call all these people my friends because that just showed me a lot. And I had so many people contact me and say hey man i would love to come and help but i'm dealing with my own stuff which i completely understand so thank you for reaching out everybody that's reached out and asked thank you for that let's go ahead and talk about this weekend and what we have in store there it sounds like there's going to be two two stories for this weekend one day is going to be absolutely gorgeous light rain the next day sunday is supposed to start the rain they're calling for a tropical system to come in a little farther south of here I I don't know. They it's been all over the place for the last week and a half. So let's go ahead and talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend. Okay, for Saturday we have a low tide at 9:31 a.m. at a 0.3 foot. Then we have a high tide at 4:06 p.m. at a 1.9 foot. Then we have another low tide at 8:23 p.m. at a 1.5 foot. For Sunday we have a low tide at 10:14 a.m. at a 0.3 foot. We have a high tide at 4:57 p.m. at a 1.8 foot. Then we have another low tide at 8.25 p.m. at a 1.6 foot. For the salooners, we have a minor feeding time from 9.21 a.m. to 10.21 a.m. Then we have a major feeding time from 2.17 p.m. to 4.17 p.m. Then on Sunday, we have a minor feeding time from 10.18 a.m. to 11.18 a.m. Then we have a major feeding time from 3.04 p.m. to 5.04 p.m. Okay, those are the, uh, the tides and salooners for this weekend and like I said, the Saturday looks like it's going to be halfway decent. Lighter winds, less rain chance. The winds are supposed to go down some. So it looks like it's going to be a beautiful Saturday. Sunday, it looks like the rain chances are going to kind of bump up a little bit. And the wind is going to start blowing a little bit. So just keep that in mind. If you can get out, I would definitely get out on Saturday instead of Sunday. But the fish are wet already. So if there's not any major thunderstorms then they're gonna they're probably gonna chew pretty good too because of that low pressure system coming our way uh again i just want to say thank you to all my friends all my family th that were there to help support us we really 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 appreciate it can't say that enough guys and i love how the community came together again i will be doing a video talking about what in what, what the inspiration for me as a person seeing everybody come together and the positive outlooks of what this storm has done uh there there are some positive outlooks from this storm there's a lot of negative but i want to focus on the positive positive. and as rich has said jiggy it's just a speed bump in life which it is we are all healthy and safe that's all that matters 
So again, I just want to say th thank you to everybody for all of the support. Thank you for watching. We can't say that enough. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.